Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial I am going to show you how you can integrate admin template in your Laravel project. So first of all let me just show you the template. So this is the template we are going to integrate in our Laravel project and I will give the template download link in the description, video description, just check it out. So I will give the github link, uh, this is my github account and if you go to this address you will be able to get the template. So in order to download the template all you have to do is that you need to click over here the code option and then here you can see download zip if you just click over here download zip it will start downloading our template here you can see it already downloaded so first of all uh, let's just go to the location where we just downloaded so i'll just click over here show in folder and here you can see this is the zip file that we just downloaded so let me just cut it from here and let me just paste it over here let's just paste it here since this is a zip file we need to extract this so we'll just right click over here and then we'll click over here extract all and then click extract so here you can see the extract is complete and this is the unzip file so let's just go inside and first of all we just directly need to go to the index file index.html whenever you download a template from online you directly need to go to the index.html so let's go to index.html and here you can see this is basically the template so first of all what we'll do is that we'll copy every file from here control c and after that we'll go inside our project so let me just show you the project over here so this is our project so we need to paste that code in the public folder but there is already css images and js folder over here already so what we'll do is that we will uh, create a folder for those admin css so uh, before we create a folder for the admin template in the public folder here i want to mention one more thing that is here if you go to the resource folder and then views here you can see we have a admin folder over here so if we create a folder inside the public named admin then it will cause some issue when you want to return a view so uh, we need to make sure that the folder name in the view and the folder name in the public folder should not be match so we need to give different name instead of admin so over here let me just go to the uh, project location here you can see this is the block project so we'll go inside then we'll just directly go to the public folder and inside public folder we'll create a folder call let's say the name will be admin css so here we are going to say admin css let's just keep the a smaller so we are going to say over here admin css then we'll go inside the admin css and whatever file we just copied from here from our template we'll just paste it in our public folder admin css folder so just control v over here so right now if we go back to our code and here you can see in the public folder we have a new folder admin css and inside the admin css we have some folder and file which is the admin templates folder and file basically so right now what we will do is that uh, we'll just directly go to the index.html and from here we need to copy everything from here in the admin css index.html so we'll just say over here control a control c so right now uh, let me just first go to the project in our laravel project and let's just try to log in from here so let's go to the admin dashboard so we'll set in admin at the rate of gmail.com and we'll give the password over here then click login and here you can see uh, we are currently login and here you can see the logout option over here because i just modified the logout option in the previous tutorial that's why it looks like this it's on the left side so right now here you can see this is the the url is slash home so right now let me just go to the uh, routes then web.php and here you can see for url home we are calling the home controller index function so let's go to app http controller and then home controller and in the index function for admin for user type admin we are returning the view admin dot admin home so here uh, in the resource we have admin and we have admin home dot blader php over here so what we will do is that we will just 
copy the code from here uh, in the admin CSS uh, index.html here you can see we'll copy everything from here control a control c and we'll paste it over here in the admin home dot blade dot php so let me just remove everything from here and let's over here paste this from the index.html okay so right now if we save this and right now if we just go to our browser and if we reload this in the browser here you can see we are able to get the admin template but the css is not loading the reason is uh, we keep our css and all the images inside a folder called admin css here you can see so right now what we need to do is that let me just go at the top and here uh, from here what we need to do is that in the link here you can see it directly called vendor so before vendor we are going to say admin css slash vendor like this so let me just select every href from here like this this on this on and all the images as well okay let's say over here admin css slash let's set this and after this let's go down and uh, here you can see the skip part so in the skip part we will also mention the admin css folder name over here so let's just select everything on by on then we will say admin css slash let's save this again and let's go to our browser and if we refresh now here you can see everything is over here properly uh, so here you can see that the image for the this name mark steven is not visible over here so what we will do is that let me just go to at the top and let's find the image for the profile okay let me just uh, search over here mark steven control c then control f control v here you can see mark steven and here is the image so here we are going to say admin css slash save this then refresh here so here we are able to get the image so right now what we will do is that we will separate each file like the header section the sidebar and the body section and the footer section so that we can read our code easily so let's go back to our code and so first of all we will separate the css part so here from here let me just copy everything in the head tag okay so i'll just cut it from here Control x here you can see there is nothing in the head head tag so right now if we set this then if we refresh obviously the css on org so right now uh, what we will do is that we our here at the top include to first bracket to single quotation and we are going to show what here admin dot let's just show what here css so let's save this so right now in this admin folder we are going to create a file called css dot plate dot php so let's just right click over here then click new file then we will show what here css dot blade dot php save it control s and then save so whatever we copy it from the head section we we'll just paste it in the css dot blade dot php control v over here let's save this from here over here and here as well so right now if we refresh everything should work perfectly so here you can see so right now let's just keep the header section code in a different file as well so you can see the header section started over here so let's just cut the header section let me just select everything uh, the header section indent over here here you can see at line 148 so i'll just press ctrl x let's go top so here uh, in the body we are going to say at the end of include we'll say admin dot header dot header so let's save this and in the admin folder we are going to say header.blade.php let's say over here header.blade.php let's save this save let me just remove this and if we now refresh without pasting anything obviously the header will be missing so right now if we just paste it over here then save it here and here then if we refresh we'll be able to see the header section here you can see so right now let's separate the sidebar over here so let's go back then here from here actually the sidebar started 
so over here you can see div class deflex align item sketch now this div is not only for sidebar this div is also for the body part code as well so what we will do is that we will only copy the nav section so here you can see sidebar nav navigation so let's just copy the navigation part from here to here it is quite small so we will just copy the nav section from here so control x and here we will keep this okay do not remove this so here we are going to set that of include to first bracket and single quotation we say admin dot sidebar let's save this and let's create another file we'll say sidebar dot blade dot php save save control a control v control s and control s over here so everything should work fine So here you can see sidebar is working fine. So right now let's remove the body part. So this is the body part. Body part will be quite big because here you can see there's a lot of things in the body part. So let's start start copying the body part. So the body part started from here. So let's just go down and it indent uh, over here. You can see that over from here the footer section started. So we'll just cut from here press control x and then here we are going to say at the top okay let's just say over here let's just save this for now then if we now refresh there you can see the body section is empty right now only there is a footer section left so right now we are going to say at the top include admin dot let's say body let's create the file body dot play dot php body dot Play.php save paste everything over here save it then refresh everything is fine and only the footer section is left right now so so this will be simple for footer section is quite small we'll just copy the footer section with the skip code as well so control x will show over here at that of include admin dot footer then we are going to show our here footer dot blade dot php control s save control v save it so everything should be fine let me just show you here you can see everything is fine so right now uh, over here you can see we have the logout option but obviously this on org so we will have the logout option that we already made in the previous tutorial so what we'll do is that we'll just go back and we'll just directly go to the uh, dashboard.blade.php so from here i'll just copy this except layout opening and except layout closing this one and then we'll go to the admin home and admin home not admin home we'll go to the admin.header header.blade.php so here is header.blade.php and here you can see the logout option over here so let me just press over here control f and i will say over here log out so you can see this is the logout option so let me just remove this icon from here and uh, this anchor tag as well so let's just say over here let's see how it looks if we just say over here except layout like this let's let me just show you how it looks let's save this let's refresh and here you can see the logout option over here so this is how it looks here we have the profile and logout option so you can keep it like this here you can see a different design because uh, it get the css from the template that's why so right now if you have to modify it we need to like change the css for the admin dashboard so it will be kind of a hassle but what you can do is that you can keep it doesn't look that bad it works for the logout option but if you only on the logout option then for it what you can do is that uh, we'll just directly go to resource then views and inside views we have the layouts option and inside layouts we have the navigation.blade.php and if you go down uh, here you can see we have the let me just zoom out uh, here you can see this form is for the logout option here you can see 
so right now what we can do is that we have another choice that is we can just copy this form then we can just go to the header.blade.php and instead of this uh, we can just paste that form over here for the logout and let's use the style color black from here so right now if we save this then if we now refresh here here you can see our logout option will look like this you can add a icon for the logout option over here if you want but i am just going to keep the previous one i think that looked better to me so i'll just keep this on so let's save this let's refresh and we have the log profile and the logout option and if we click logout it will take us to the home page so yeah th this is all about this tutorial uh, in this tutorial i showed you how we can in indicate admin template in your laravel project i hope you find this tutorial easy if you have any question you can always let me know in the comment section and if anyone face any problem and manage to solve that issue then make sure to write that solution in the comments so that some other people can get help from your comment so thank you very much for watching make sure to subscribe to this channel if you want more tutorial like this thanks again for watching i'll see you in the next tutorial